I didn't want to tell them. You're the one who wanted to tell them. Well, I just figured... I didn't want to tell them. I just figured yeah, you <laughs> probably should. I'm sure everything will be fine. Last night we had something Tonight I'll be guessing But I don't really have a case You don't have to mention you're just like their attention It's written all over your face Hey, welcome back to the Mayvan channel. Before you watch, make sure you subscribe. Hit that button down below to watch all of our future videos. What do you think? It's a boy. <laughs> I already know. Even though we were already told it's a girl. Yep. All right, Brian. Ultrasound number two. So we just finished the ultrasound and got some news. Are you worried, Brian? Yeah, a little bit. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've just never had any problems with any of our babies. So. Yeah, but I've heard a lot of times ultrasounds like show things and then it doesn't end up being yeah. right. Yeah. Like a lot of stories. I know. Well, I didn't see the fourth chamber of the heart like connecting all the way. And then there was something with the stomach. I didn't quite understand that. I can't remember. It the looked term longer for it. than normal. Yeah, it was bigger than normal, so it's not opening all the way. But he said that he did see fluid in the kidneys, which means that it is yeah. working. Something's getting. So it, so it might it could be nothing. Like he could be jumping ahead of himself. But when it just but when it's not all boom 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 perfect, then they um, he just wants to send you to a specialist just to be safe and, and make sure everything's fine and if it's not then you go from there but it is a girl <laughs> it's a girl you were wrong I was wrong it is a girl <laughs> but now you don't care at all no I don't care that it's a girl at all now. I just want a healthy baby that's all I care about oh, did you turn it off because you were crying <laughs> yeah so I turned it back on guess it'll be real right yeah yeah, I'm the worrier of the two of us. She says I'm supposed to be fine with this. <laughs> no, you're supposed to have your gut feeling and, and, and reassure me. Well, I had a gut feeling it was a boy, so. <laughs> but, luckily now he doesn't care at all. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I didn't really be, well, I mean, I still kind of wanted a boy, but I'm fine with it. either way. And God doesn't make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. So, if we're supposed to have a girl, we have a girl. And with health too, right? Yeah. You got to make mistakes. <laughs> That's a little harder. <laughs> no, no, uh, telling anybody. Not even our kids? Mm, yeah, I don't want to worry them. Well, I figured we could do like family prayers about it. Well, yeah. There are lots of stories of, you know, them determining things yeah. are wrong or thinking things might be wrong and then it's totally fine, so. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it yet. Much. Yeah, more than I am. <laughs> I could tell that something was off, though, during it. Could you? Well, no, I just thought that he was... We were in there for, like, what? It was almost an hour. Well, and he was taking a million pictures of the heart. Yeah. Like, over... And it wasn't, like, everything else was, like, four pictures, five pictures. And this one was, like, uh, like just over and over and he was spending so long just taking all these pictures of the heart yeah so I could tell that there was something he was concerned about first he told us the stomach problem could require surgery as soon as the baby's born and then we were kind of a little worried about that and then you know 20 minutes later he's like okay there's another concern <laughs> so what do you guys think girl girl boy, girl. boy. So, all three girls and a boy? Girl, boy, girl, boy. Twins. It's a girl. Really? Yep. I got it back. Yeah. Did you guys know what this ultrasound is for? To help and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure everything is fine. We have to go get a second opinion. The first problem <clears throat> was that her, I don't even know what it was called. Something was wrong with her stomach. Her, it was like uh, closed off or something. And so she, what's, she can't get food, right? 
That's what it looked like. Buddy said her kidneys were filling with water, so you know that something's going through. Yeah, so something, her, it's everything's still working right, but her, the look of her stomach didn't look From good. From what he could see. But so. there was a bigger problem. Took a, he was trying to get uh, pictures of everything to make sure it was normal, and he was spending a long time on the heart. And there's supposed to be four chambers, and one of them couldn't find. So what does that mean? They might be able to still find it. He might not. It just may have been harder. He just not, might not have gotten a good enough view or look. Chambers to the heart, it's just before chambers to the heart. So he said, uh, he described it as a hole in the heart. And so we just have to go to, just, he's just referring us to a specialist that can look closer and find out for sure if there's something. What happens if there is only three heart chambers? But there yeah. could be nothing wrong. I've heard of lots of stories of them thinking that there's something wrong on an ultrasound and, and then there's nothing wrong and the baby's totally fine. Just in case we're being referred to a specialist because if there is something wrong, then we need, it's better to know and to be able to take care of it. So when do you go back in? Uh, I don't know. We, we got to get an appointment with the specialist. I don't know. We just yes. have to wait and see. All right. We're here at the third ultrasound now um it's like a uh, like maternal i don't know it's what is it called the hospital well i know we're at the hospital but it's uh, a little bit more like it's better it's like a better technology ultrasound uh, tech that's, a specialist yeah specialist more <laughs> trained i guess we'll go head into the hospital now which i haven't been in like 10 years, I think, since I gave birth to Briley. All right, we just got through with the ultrasound and my midwife had said that they probably wouldn't talk much or tell us anything, but they did. Yep. They were very nice, talked through the whole thing, told us everything they were seeing, and... <laughs> Go ahead, this what? is your video. <laughs> It's yours too. Everything's good. Yep, everything looks really good, I really normal. It. Said the stomach was like a little bit big, but that didn't mean anything. Just means the stomach's a little bit bigger than normal, or could the baby could have swallowed something. They looked for any obstructions or anything, and everything looks good. And I was never worried. And no, you weren't. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> and the heart looks really good. It's all four chambers. All right away. And then they looked at everything else too, and everything looks good and normal and perfect for a home birth delivery. Yeah. And now we get to go home and tell the kids. Yep. They'll be really excited. Yep. Because we've been praying like every night yeah. for her. As a family. family. As a family, for our family prayers. And I felt super bad because today's Minnie's birthday too. And we yeah, had to, so we gotta get, well. We had to leave. We gotta go get donuts first, and then we're gonna get home to her. Okay. Good thing it turned out good for her birthday because. Yeah, that would have sucked. Ended up being <laughs> We'd always remember her birthday as uh, the day we found out something bad. Uh, so. Yeah. So. so I just wanted to say one more thing because it's been actually two weeks since they told us yeah. that there might be something. As I was walking out to the car, it was just, I don't know, all this stress and just relief. Like, oh, good. Anyway. So how have you guys felt the last couple weeks? We felt... Scared. I felt scared too. Scared because like, what if it have more than it's fun? Kyla? Huh? How have you felt the last couple weeks? I don't know. I didn't feel like she was going to get better. You didn't feel like that? I remember asking you and you said you felt like that uh, there would be something wrong with her. Because there's, it's not possible. Jason? I'm scared. You've been scared? But I know she's gonna be fine. And today, they found... Stomach. 
They found the stomach. It was there. Fourth chamber? They found the fourth chamber like that. Really? The very first image. She's like, oh, there's four chambers. And wrote it down. Yeah. What about the stomach? Uh, the stomach, he said it was still a little bit big. Just a little bit bigger than normal. Yeah. It makes no like sense. Could we and stop the heck out of the rest? <laughs> I don't know. Because even on the pictures from last time, it looked huge. And then this time it looked a lot smaller. Everything they said, she looked really good and really healthy. So now she's just going to be born happy and healthy. How's that for impossible, Thailand? <laughs> Why does everything go our way? <laughs> I don't know. Prayer. I was fine because I pray every night. So it's a miracle, baby. Yep. You're so cool. jealous. That's you are so really jealous. Cool. You are not my only child. You are the cutest, though. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, it's me, Holly, owner and creator of Mayband, the band that turned your regular jeans into maternity jeans. We started doing these videos so we could give you a glimpse into my crazy life as a mom of almost six, a wife, and a business owner. And if you like what you see, subscribe to our videos. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. As always, thanks for watching Mayband. <laughs>